Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Today I want to talk about Type of 3 workspaces and how they can be used as a simple preview functionality. You may all know the problem that you have if you want to restructure a full site. Often users, you, just use hidden elements to create new content and check whether everything looks okay by previewing hidden content elements. However, if you want to make bigger changes, this gets pretty chaotic pretty quickly. And we are also teaching our editors to just hide elements and not delete them, which kind of ends up with thousands of hidden elements on every page because, hey, we might need them at one point in the future again. So workspaces provide a solution to this problem. And in earlier versions of Typo 3, workspaces used to be kind of hard to use and had some things that you needed to know. But a lot has happened in the last two years and a lot of bugs have been fixed. So I wanted to show you how you can use workspaces today because now I can recommend using it without running into too many errors. So let's see how it works. I have here a pretty basic Type 3 installation um, with the introduction package. And to install workspaces, we first need to install the extension itself. So it's a core extension and we can install it with Composer. As I'm using ddev, we have to use the ddev composer command here. So we are going here and type ddev composer require type of three CMS workspaces. This looks good. To set up an extension with the command line, we can run ddev type of three extension setup. Now the workspaces extension has been set up, which means that the database tables has been, have been created and it should appear in the backend if I reload it. Let's see. Okay, we have workspaces here. When I click on it, you can see that no workspaces have been set up. So let's just do this first. I want to have a workspace that I call MySpace because I call the simple workspaces always MySpace. Some of you may be old enough to know why. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to save this. And in this case, in this video, I just want to quickly show you how you can use the workspaces module as kind of a preview for yourself. So for example, I have a blog which I use and edit myself. There are no other users. So this is where I like workspaces for the preview functionality and uh, for the ability to build complete pages like they should look on live without using hidden elements or time restrictions or anything like that, just being able to preview them. And this is what I do with the basic workspace. So I just create this workspace and then I can switch to it on the top right here. If I now make changes to any page, these changes are done in the workspace context. So they are not done on live, but they are done in my workspace context. So I can make some changes and for example, I can, instead of just using the title and changing the title, I want to show you how to change content too. So I can um, delete something here and maybe use another image. Let's see. It's just random different image, just so we can see what happens. Then I'm clearing caches and open the front end preview. And as you can see, we have the changed page title in the menu. We have the changed image here and we have a missing word here. In the same way, we can disable or delete complete elements and even add new ones. And everything we do here is just happening in the workspace. So live system isn't changed. We can verify that 
if we look at the preview again, you have a slider on top where you can compare your new version with the one that's currently published. So you have the possibility to compare them this way, or if you prefer, you can also have them loaded next to each other so that you can compare them like this. If you want to publish that because you're happy with your new version, you go to the workspaces module and you can see everything that you changed. So you have the page title change here, you have the content element change here and the deleted element here. You can either publish each of these changes step by step, so just the page title change and then the others, but usually you would restructure the full page and if you're happy with the complete page, you would want to publish everything. In this case, because I just published, uh, changed one page, I can publish the entire workspace. I can also use the checkboxes here to just select what I want to have published and then I can go and say, I want to publish this. There are some default stages coming with the normal workspaces module that you would use if you had more than one user. I'm going to show that in another video. For now, let's just publish the changes to life and see how it works. I can also notify someone if I'm working alone, this doesn't make sense, but I could, that there are new changes happening. Now this is published and my workspace is clean again. If I want to go back to the live workspace, I click on the switcher on top and I see that my customized one, two, three page is now on live. And if I click on it and look at it in the front end, I can see that all my changes have been published. So this is a nice and easy way to use workspaces for advanced preview functionality and rebuilding your website if you're working alone. It's also possible to work with many, many, many more users and many more workspaces for specific use cases, but this should be the introduction that you need to get you started. I hope you try it. I hope you report back if you like it or not. And see you next time. Bye-bye.